What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, you might not know. In previous videos, we featured DeWalt's one-handed recip saw. It's their, from their atomic line. It's right here. And we put the tool through what's called a tool test draw. Quite frankly, compared to other one-handed recip saws, it, it didn't do so well. Does that make it a bad tool? Not necessarily, even though it has less strokes per minute and a smaller stroke length. It doesn't mean it's bad, because if it's made to be used in tighter areas, maybe that shorter stroke length would be of a benefit. But in the meantime, a lot of you said, hey Vince, would you be willing to test out DeWalt's XR brushless compact recip saw? And quite frankly, Here's the deal. I've had my eye on this tool for years. Years. This is not a brand new tool. This ain't like new to market. This is an older design, but I've had my eye on it. The only thing was is that I wasn't really all about the DeWalt platform to the point where I needed to purchase this. I was using Solzols. And I was like, ah, it's not necessary until you ask for it. And then as soon as you ask for it, ding, 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 it gave me a reason to pick it up. So now we're here. I'm going to unbox it. <laughs> really? Like, what other, what other channel has the community direct the content? I mean, think about that. You ask, we do. Leave it down in the comment section below, what are the creators? And it doesn't have to be in this genre. We're all about cool communities. We're all about cool YouTube communities. We love that. Who are some of your favorite creators? We want to know what other creators listens to you. I think I feel like we do a pretty good job of listening to you. That's why we brought this in. It's the DCS367B. A lot going on with this compact reciprocating saw tool only. It's made in the USA with Globe Materials. It's 20 volt max, it's brushless, it's XR. Battery sold separately as well as the charger. None of those are in that box. I wonder if there's a bag in here. I also wonder if there's a blade in here. That would be pretty cool. We could take a look here. Let's look at some specifications. It's gonna tell me a little bit about the saw. So it says extreme runtime with brushless motor. Compact lightweight design allows for tool to fit in between 16 inch studs on center which is pretty cool. I really like this. I, it's, it reminds me, this design reminds me of like an SDS rotary hammer, more compact. I like that. Four position blade clamp. So we're gonna, we'll demonstrate that for you. Pretty cool. I like that four position blade clamp. It's got a three year warranty, one year of free service, 90 day money back guarantee. I guarantee. Now here's the deal. Four position keyless blade clamp. Yes, C, oi however you like to say it. Here's the big one, stroke length, inch and an eighth. Strokes per minute, 2,900. So it's less than some of the, the one-handed recips, okay? But it's got a longer stroke length, which is pretty cool. Tool length is 14.5 inches. Electric brake, yes, see, oi. And tool weight's five pounds. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure, we're gonna test that out. We're gonna get it unboxed. I'd like to know two things. If there's a blade included, and if there's a bag included, because of this great marketing here from probably DeWalt and Lowe's Home Improvement, we have all these stickers. Isn't it great? Thank you, Lowe's. Thank you, DeWalt. We appreciate your help in making this video, which is pretty much zero, other than DeWalt made the tool and Lowe's sold it to us. So we open the box, and what do we find? A compact recip saw and an instruction manual. Okay. That's it. No bag. No blade. Whew, this better be one heck. A hundred. This is hundred and fifty-nine dollars. Tool only. This better be one heck of a recip saw. We have an articulating shoe, which is non-adjustable, just like their flex vault recip saw. I don't understand that, I really don't. It does have a, uh, a toolless blade change, pretty cool. I love the compact size. 
Let's see if it actually does weigh five pounds. It does, almost exactly five pounds. Five pounds, 0 0.1 ounces. Pretty cool. You could see, like, you have to ask yourself, all right, like, let, let's, let's compare length. I mean, I, I guess the, the one-handed re-sip saw, I mean, it is lighter. It's only three pounds, 3.2 ounces. But as far as size, is it really that much smaller? I guess in a tight in a tight spot, every every little inch counts, but it doesn't even look like inches. It's like it's like less than inches in difference in size. Let me know down in the comments section below. Like, what do you think? Is 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 this a big is this one hand the resip saw a big size savings? I will say this. So the atomic is a little bit more balanced. One hand the resip is a little more balanced. Once we pop a battery on here, it does kind of balance it out. Whoa! Yo, this thing sounds mean! This is cool little tool. I will say it's loud though. And it does transmit a nice amount of vibration into your arm. It does have a pretty bright LED, pretty cool. Let's check that blade change. Okay, so to change the blade, all we do is lift up on this lever and insert our blade, let that lever down, boom, we have a blade in. Now, if you were cutting, if you were cutting, maybe instead of straight up and down, maybe you needed to cut left to right, okay? It has that four position chucker, locker, blade holder, slash thingy. You could insert your blade in this direction and make your cut left to right. Can we make a cut from right to left? Whoa, DeWalt thought of everything. Pretty cool. I like the rubber over molding. It has that new tool smell. And if you like that new tool smell, smash the like button. It's free for you to do. And it helps out the channel immensely. Also, if you want to see this tool in action, it will be in what's called a tool test raw. You can go to that video over here. You can see how this tool did up against a competitor of a reship saw from a possibly a different brand. Or maybe even against its, its little brother here. I, I, don't, I haven't decided yet, but you'll know once you go to that video. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What do you think of the DeWalt XR brushless compact reciprocation saw? Do you own it? Do you like it? Do you want to buy it now? Are you going to hold off? Is it vibrate too much? Does it make too much noise? Leave them down below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.